In a weird turn of events, PlayStation might have just found themselves in a rather sticky situation. But let's break this all down. Up next. What's up guys, this is Kalo, and I'm here to give you the lowdown on all things gaming. And if you're new here, feel free to subscribe to this channel for weekly video game news content. Drop a like on the video and welcome to the level up. So PlayStation recently revealed their quarterly financial reports. And on the surface, everything appears to be business as usual. They're selling more consoles and more games than their competition, being Xbox and Nintendo. So why on earth are people freaking out over this? Admittedly, I think people are overreacting just a little bit, and that's all by saying this is the end of PlayStation as we know it. But I do think there's a problem here fundamentally, and that's all based around how PlayStation does business. And I really think they do need to change some things around when it comes to their long-term health. And this isn't just me stoking the fire by any means. We covered a story recently about how Sony's president himself came out specifically to talk about how they handle first party games and how releasing them on other platforms, more specifically the PC, very much might be in the cards. Quote, people who work in the studios have very high motivation. They're very highly motivated. They're very good people and they have creative minds and knowledge of live streaming. However, having said that, when it comes to the business, I think there's room for improvement. And that's to do with how to use money, the schedule of development, and how to fulfill one's accountability towards development. Those are my frank impressions. I will continue to engage in dialogue with the people so that we can find the right way to proceed. Of course, what he is referring to here in this context is the rapidly increasing budgets for AAA games and how long it takes to make them. I'm not going to bore you yet again with a full-on explanation of all this, but long story short, it costs a ton of money to make these games, and the return on investment isn't coming around quick enough or hardly at all. Now, if we look back to the PS3 generation, Naughty Dog alone churned out Uncharted 1, 2, and 3, and The Last of Us Part 1, which is really insane when you think about it. Today, we're lucky to get one or even two games within a franchise, so you start to see a problem here. But after this news came out that Sony revised some of its goals and all the numbers came out, shareholders were quick to respond. Following all this, Sony lost a total of $10 billion in stocks over the last week. And some business analysts might have found the exact reason why. Quote, the shipment forecast cut for PS5 is not what is disappointing. What is disappointing is the low level. The revenue on digital sales, add-on content, digital downloads are at all-time highs. And yet their margins are at decade lows. This is just not acceptable. Now, of course, you guys know I'm not good with numbers and all that stuff, but basically what this all states, despite these games selling, let's just say 10 million units, that simply isn't enough to make a profit. And I think that's what Sony's president was getting at earlier. The teams over at Sony are no doubt making great games, and I never really thought that was in question. But operating at this high budget level is something they really need to assess moving forward. Again, this is all just money management. Sustainability and money management are key points here. And you gotta think, is what they're doing right now a viable business model? And right now, Sony's numbers indicate this isn't the way to go. Now, I think over the next few months, we will see a massive shift in the world of PlayStation, with more titles coming to the PC to kinda aid in that cost. And moving forward, how they manage their big AAA games will be really telling. But with all that being said, I'm gonna pass this question off to you guys. What do you guys make of all this? I don't think this is the end of Sony as people are making it out to be. Of course, this is the internet. But I do think they need to change things on the business side moving forward if they want to stick around for a long time. But that about does it here. I've been Kalo. I gave you the lowdown on all things gaming. And if you're new here, feel free to subscribe to this channel for weekly video game news content. Drop a like on the video. And this has been The Level Up.